Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading, your second royal reading of today, a Wednesday. And I'm looking at uh, now in this reading the speculation by Kinsey Schofield who is omnipresent at the moment on certain television channels talking from LA and commentating from LA. She's apparently flying out to the UK for the coronation. Anyway, she speculated on one of the channels and I have lost track of where and when, but she speculated that Harry's quick coronation trip, I think all told it's a 24 hour flight out, uh, attend and then rush home again. Uh, she speculates that it's so short because Harry fears an intervention. Now we have heard talk of an intervention before. I have read on the likelihood or the desire uh, that the royals might have to stage an intervention for Harry. He has confessed to enormous amounts of drug use and we could say abuse as well. Um, he seems to be in a rather toxic relationship. That is opinion, of course, that people speculate that it is a toxic relationship that is doing him harm, has separated him from friends and family. And those are quite normal circumstances where a family would stage an intervention, nothing unusual. Um, and so uh, that is the context. So I want to know, using the Urban Tarot, the tarot car, uh, cards that I very often have to grab the book and read from the book, and I also struggle to shuffle because there are quite big cards. But anyway, I'm going to look at the situation with the Urban Tarot, find out uh, whether Harry is worried about this, whether Meghan is worried about a possible intervention, why the trip is so short, uh, whose idea was it to keep it so short, and um, then I'm going to ask, and I'm going to shuffle like this, um, will the family actually try and sort of wrestle Harry to the ground and grab him and you know, no, no dog bowls and no broken necklaces we hope wrestle him to the ground and knock some sense into him and I'm not encouraging violence and I'm not um, in, uh, expressing a desire for them to um, beat him or do anything I'm been speaking uh, in metaphors and uh, so will they try this and uh, how's he going to feel on the flight home afterwards? Is he going to have an awakening? Um, what's what's going to be going on? We will look, of course, at that in future days, coming days, his mood, how he's feeling, what's going on. And I'm sure that uh, that will all come up for discussion in the next few days. But right now, it's intervention. Is Harry worried? Is Meghan worried? Why the short trip? Whose idea was it? Will the royals try? There's the hanged man. I think we've got our reading. Will the royals try and uh, uh, do an intervention, stage an intervention, at least talk to him? How will he feel on the way home? It's such a short trip. He's arriving allegedly in the morning and um, gone again straight afterwards. So not sticking around, not sticking around for any of the lunches, the events, anything like that. Um, just back on the plane and off. No time to talk to the king. William doesn't want to talk to him, according to all the royal reports. I see differently in my cards. I see William very angry, very upset, upset but also still there for him. Underlying energy is William. The chariot in reverse, but of course it is not just William, the chariot in reverse, it's travel. Um, fast cars, the chariot, major arcana, it's a fast car that's in reverse. It's something, a journey that's being blocked, a something that is being stopped uh, when you have the chariot in reverse. It's something that is, is not going forward, literally. Um, so the, um, the trip has been cut short very clearly uh, with the chariot in reverse. It has been stalled, it has been derailed, sidetracked. Something has happened to stop it from going forward. Um, but also just a very minor William energy in there, an angry William, an upset William. But it's not really about William at all. It's about this journey that has been cut short, derailed, blocked, stopped. We will try and find out who might be the one who stopped it, who has cut it short. Um, situation please. Uh, the heart of the matter, what are we dealing with? Card that's coming out quite a lot at the moment, the Three of Sorrows, Three of Swords, 
betrayal, anguish, heartache, loss, um, very great hurt that it's very difficult to recover from. Um, a lot of people who are hurt, not just Harry, not just Meghan, the royals all hurt, feeling betrayed. Um, a, a lot of uh, there's been a massive bloodletting. Again, I'm being um, I'm talking in the metaphor rather than literally. Um, the card is in the reverse, possibly a desire to heal, to come together again after this heartache and loss. Uh, that would be an intervention. That would be, you've hurt us, you've betrayed us, you've let us down. We want to move past that. We want you to um, get the help that you need um, to be uh, in a safe place um, and all of that stuff. So I'm no expert, um, so uh, don't... Um, Quote me on that. <laughs> if you are staging an intervention, get the proper expert help. Uh, but there it is. Uh, is Harry worried about this? Is it something he thinks, oh no, I can't be alone with any of them. They're going to try and, uh, you know, give me, a, give me a speech. Is he worried about it? It's the Four of Cups. Um, it says luxury here. This, these are people who are very indulgent uh, according to this very specific um, uh, tarot deck. It's got its very own um, way of interpreting cards. I don't always agree. But that is quite an interesting card for the Four of Cups, this indulgent energy of luxury of um, I don't care. I'm so busy um, having a good time with whatever substances I'm indulging in, whatever I might be doing, I don't care. It's a very much a don't care card. It's apathetic, it's indifferent. So I don't think that this is something that bothers him. It's a I'm not bothered card. Four of Cups, explicitly I'm not bothered. I don't care. Uh, if they did reach out, because usually the Four of Cups has someone offering a cup to someone else, a hand offering a cup, it would be not, not interested, take it away. So if they do do something like this, according to this energy, he would say, go away, not interested, take it away. Um, I've got my own pursuits that I'm more interested in. Is Megan worried that they're going to try and um, carve him away from her? We've got the debauch card in reverse. This, this tarot deck has decided we're going to see the Harkles, um, how, how they're doing things. She is worried about it. She's worried. He's not, and he's, oh, well, if they try, I'm not interested. I won't fall for it. She, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, is very worried that he's going to have a moment of clarity there. The Seven of Cups upright is um, looking at possibilities, it's dreaming, imagining, uh, envisioning, um, deluding yourself uh, somewhat. In reverse, it's uh, I see the reality of the situation. Now I've run out of options. I've run out of possibilities. She fears that the Royals, according to these cards, in my opinion, she fears that um, they might actually get to him. And I can't remember because, as I say, I am uh, quite busy with projects at the moment, writing projects. Uh, I can't remember if I did the whole disclaimer spiel, but there is a disclaimer in the box below. And my usual disclaimer replies, please uh, note that it's tarot here for fun, entertainment, all opinion, all speculation and all energy that we are reading here. Archetypal energy. Interesting. We've got luxury. We've got debauch. She's worried that the party might just be over if Harry uh, goes to the coronation and sticks around for longer than uh, literally the ceremony, the service itself. So um, next card is why the short trip? Why has it been scaled down uh, to such a, a quick in and out? Um, why has it to do with this or is there something else that is bothering them? Fortitude 9. Um, it's, it's the card of being embattled. Um, it's the nine of wands uh, and it is the card of uh, more than being embattled it is you need to put boundaries around yourself you need to ring fence yourself so I think it ties in very much with what Kinsey Schofield was speculating that they are worried that if there is access to Harry um, he might be weak enough to succumb to whatever persuasions are um, are offered to him and so you have got to put up the barriers have got to ring fence him have got to guard him against um, uh, people being able to push through those boundaries that the nine of wands is very much about boundaries 
And so, yes, this is the best way to do it. Um, he's got to go. He's got to show his face. Otherwise, no Netflix, no Brand Sussex anymore. Uh, but in and out, fast in, fast out. That's the way you can protect yourself and put your boundaries. Keep your boundaries. Keep safe. Who decided this? Who decided that it had to be so short? That he would literally fly in the same day and fly out. Princess of Cups, <laughs> the filmmaker. <laughs> That's very funny. The filmmaker. Um, I don't think literally Netflix. I don't think that Netflix said you can't stay for long in case the royal family captures you and sends you off to the Priory or wherever they'd like to send him. Um, but the filmmaker certainly would be the wife. And uh, shiny, shiny, I know. But anyway, the filmmaker, she is the filmmaker. She's the one that uh, has, uh, sewed all these deals together, stitched all these deals together in California with her team, her agents, her business managers, her lawyers, uh, her connections um, in Hollywood. Um, a little bit of snark there. She didn't really have connections in Hollywood, but her Oprah's and her Ellen's and all the rest of it, her Tyler Perry's, she my opinion, of course, speculating, blah, blah, disclaimer, box below. Um, so are the royals going to have any um, opportunity or any success in actually making a dent in Harry and saying, listen, what are you doing? Uh, you need to come to your senses, ace of pentacles in reverse. I would say no. Tarot cards in reverse are generally no's. Um, I don't think there's going to be opportunity. I don't think there's going to be time. Uh, it's not the time. It's not the moment. There's too much else going on. And uh, no time because of the chariot in reverse. And um, ace of pentacles in reverse is instability, is not being on a good path, not there for the long haul, not committed. He's not committed to anything. So he's in and out. He's dashing and dashing out just so that he's in the photos and just so that he's in the history books and just so that Netflix can get their, their shot of him um, allegedly with the king afterwards, portrait of him and William. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if that ever actually happens but or whether William lands him in the dog boil again. There isn't time, there isn't opportunity, there isn't commitment. It's a no. And uh, how's he going to be feeling on the flight home after this? We'll be asking this question again. Um, but how's he going to be feeling? The moon confused. Oh, very confused, very lost, very, um, just very uncomfortable. Uh, doesn't know where to go, really. Second time this card has come out today. Is that this is the energy that we are in. Who does he trust? Who does he listen to? Does he listen to the filmmaker? Does he listen to the chariot, the brother, the family? Who does he trust? Does he talk to Mummy Diana? He does talk to Mummy Diana in the sky. We know that. He's told us that. So does he talk to Mummy Diana on the flight home? I don't know if he'll be seeing a moon on the flight home. I don't think he will. Uh, he's flying backwards, not forwards. He's flying back into the day. Um, but uh, he's confused. He's lost. He's lonely. He is just, in my opinion, a mess on the way back to California. An unhappy mess. That is your reading. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.